Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy and I help people with their breakups. And I get a lot of views for my no contact rule that works and a lot of letters regarding the no contact rule. So I'm going to just do some quick videos that address individual questions about the no contact rule. And I'll try to be quick because I do talk a lot. I like to ramble. That's why I have my own channel, I guess. And um, let me just get into it. The no contact rule, when to break it. Okay, so a lot of people say, what if they contact me? Well, if they contact you, be, be short and polite. You know, yeah, how you doing? I'm good. Everything's fine. Yeah, okay. And end the conversation when you want to end the conversation. You got things to do. You're doing, you know, you're doing well. You don't have to carry on the conversation. Do not apologize for the past, especially if you already did. This happens a lot. I'm seeing people, I said sorry. I, you know, I begged her back. I said, if you said sorry once and you said sorry for what you did, that's enough. They know what you're sorry for. If, if they call you and you are able to talk to them with no expectation of getting back together. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't even necessarily mean a friend. I mean, you're just neutral. You're stoic. You're able to talk to them um, and not feel like you're leading into like, so are you seeing someone else? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, so um, how's your mom? How's this? No, don't go, don't go that deep. What, whatever they called you for, answer the question. Talk, talk for a brief time. Keep it under five minutes, three minutes. And you end the conversation. You're going somewhere. You've got something to do. And short, sweet, and polite. That's fine. Um, there are exceptions to the rule. If you're dealing with a really stubborn person, I just had some lady that was 58 years old. Her boyfriend was in his 60s. He had a hip operation or something like that. And um, she was taking care of him and he was in pain and he lost his patience with her because she was saying that she she wanted a little bit more affection from him and he was pissed off because you know he just had a hip operation so she said he just went into they were done broke up got his things out of the house all in a snap crackle pop and they would been together three or four years and she's left going i didn't think i did something that bad well you're dealing with a stubborn individual who probably isn't going to say sorry but knows he did something wrong. Those are hard people to deal with. And if you go into no contact with them, even if they felt like they did something wrong, you probably are going to have to initiate talking to them again. And if you're expecting an apology from them, you might be disappointed. And if you think you didn't do anything wrong and you're sitting in or like you said, maybe you're being a little needy about the hug and you say, sorry, I don't know what I did wrong. Don't keep saying sorry. And if they continue to be stubborn and curt and ornery and rude with you and you feel like you don't deserve it, then that's a, do you want to be with someone like that long term? I've heard of this kind of a case happening before. But what I'm saying is with the stubborn person, you're probably going to have to initiate that final meeting. And if they're really pissed off and upset, you might need a month, three weeks or a month before you go into that meeting because they need to miss you and realize that they're being a jerk. Um, and you never want to apologize for something you don't believe you did wrong. You want to talk that out and, and figure it out. And this, you know, if you have a time gap of three to five months, I'm not telling you to contact them then, but if all the tension's gone, all the bitterness, and this really matters of how long you lived, how long you lived together. Like if you were five years and you lived together, there's a lot of tension that you're going to carry six months or eight months down from that breakup probably because it's more intense and you're much more close to that person where if you were out of a nine month or one year probably two or three months you're three or four times better than you were at the start and at that time if they contact you they're they're fishing around they're curious answer the call and talk to them that's not a problem as long as you can Talk to them without the expectation of getting back. You can talk to them in a calm, cool manner. And like I said, if you can, end the conversation and do not go into the past or look for, oh, you know, I can't believe you did that to me in the past or I'm so sorry for what I did. At that point, three to five months, the tensions, the, the smoke is cleared. You're talking about what you're doing in the present. Keep it in the present. And if they're bringing up all the past, then you don't want to deal with that because they haven't got over things. Um, 
Okay, now this comes down to the story and what happened and why. So again, visit writemac.com if you want to tell your story because all this comes down to how the story is being told by yourself and what happened and what you believed happened. So for example, if she cheated on you with your best friend and you're doing the no contact, you're doing that to move on. You know, she said, oh, we can just stay friends and, you know, I still care about you. I still want to come over and help you out with your laundry and maybe, you know, I know I took care of the bills at the house. And you go, oh yeah, that would be good. That's weak, needy. You need to move on because you're you're not gonna forgive her for going out with your best friend and hooking up with him. And if you're doing the no contact to get her back, and that you gotta ask yourself why. And a lot of times the reason why is because you got rejected. When you want to prove that you could get her back, it's not even that you want her back long term. You want to reject her back. I've seen this before. So. And then the, the, the next one is like if it's been over six months, eight months, nine months, and they call you out of the blue, have a chat with them. Have a chat with them. See how they're doing. They're curious. They're seeing how you're doing. You don't, it's not necessarily they want to get back with you. They still care about you. They, something sparked something. I know when I was in no contact, in, um, I wouldn't even call it no contact in the sense that people do it after a long-term relationship. I was dating a girl for three or four months, and it ended, and... It was in long distance, and she's the one that said it ended, and I accepted that. And I think it was like, yeah, we were probably seeing each other for three to six months. This was years back. And um, she called me out of the blue nine months later, ten months later, maybe a year later. I'm not sure. And um, just said she saw someone that looked, looked like me at the coffee shop and was thinking of me, and then we just went into a conversation for 30, 40 minutes. And I didn't, at the time, we lived far apart. Mm, I wasn't in a mode like, oh yeah, she's she's in. Oh, I can't wait to see, see her again. And then we just made plans to meet up again when I was back in the area, which was about a month later. And then we just clicked, and we we picked up where we left off. No hard feelings, but we didn't break up on really bad terms. Like we broke up because we had long distance, and I had moved to a new place, and she didn't want to deal with it. So that that has to do with it. The story that we we had was okay whereas if you break up and you had all these bad things happen right before that they can't let go of that might affect them contacting you so i hope that helps with the no contact rule a little video to add to that and hang in there if you're the no contact remember the no contact is not guaranteeing you to get your ex back it's guaranteeing you to get you back and that's why i offer the 10 questions to ponder when you break up to get in touch with what you are who you are what's next for you how you're working on yourself and then it's just a nice bonus a nice extra if they contact you and if they do contact you right you'll be in a position where you go do i really want to work on this do i do i do i want to meet up with them at this point is this a relationship i do want to revisit you're going to be making that decision for yourself you're not just going to automatically go oh my god so great to hear from you can i can we meet up in an hour no 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 that's not the place you want to be in with the no contact all right, have a good day.